Hi everyone. Today we'll be looking at how to do a self-docking into a heme-containing protein using Mo software, which is Molecular Operating Environment from Chemical Computing Group out of Montreal, Canada. I'm Sam Shaver, and I've been working with Mo for nearly 20 years. I've had a great deal of success using Mo to generate SAR for various series of metalloenzymes. Most recently, I worked on generating a lead series in three different enzyme systems using Mo with two of these series going into the clinic. I am in no way affiliated with CCG. These instructional videos are just that, to help people learn how to effectively use the software. So let's get started. You'll see the main Mo window is full screen and everything we will do will derive from this Mo window. A self docking is when you use a crystallization ligand to do a docking into the crystallized protein. You'll also note that this protein looks a bit different from the protein we generated and optimized in an earlier video. I've changed the colorization of the heme to uh, make it more visible and I've removed the side chains and backbone residues to clean up the window. Now let's go up to compute and dock so we can get started. Uh, the ligand present uh, is the one we're going to dock. There are multiple things you can play with in this window. Placements, the scoring, the refinements. Uh, I would suggest everybody just you know, take a look at that, play with those things, see what works best, what doesn't work best. Uh, I would also have you take a look at using induced fit for refinement. What that does is it allows the receptor itself to move. Uh, instead of holding it uh, in a rigid form. Again, we're going to change the number of poses to 10 for the sake of time. And we're going to give the output a unique name so we can find it easily next time. So let's just call it Doc1. Click on Run. Uh, Doc1 exists. Let's go ahead and overwrite that. A database viewer window opens up. And this will be where the output will show up. If we click on the SVL window, this tells you what's going on with, uh, with the software. Click on the DBV, that's database viewer window, and we can find the SVL. So we can look at both. Uh, it doesn't take very long. A self-docking should take 15 to 20 seconds, uh, especially if it's doing, uh, if it's using all of the default settings. And here is uh, the results of the docking. To take a look at what the results are, we'll go, go to File, Browse, and a Browse window opens up. Let's change the color of the atoms to purple. Let's do a ball and stick so we can ease ball and stick so we can easily see what's going on. And you can pull down the menu here to S, and that will display the docking energy in kcals per mole. Uh, the very first thing that you'll note as you scroll through is that we're not seeing any of these poses interacting with the iron, which we know is indeed something that will happen. That will that'll be the strongest interaction. What the receptor is doing, though, is the channel is very lipophilic, and it's matching up all of these lipophilic groups in this ligand with lipophilic centers along the uh, channel. So what we're going to do to make the interaction with the iron, the, the desired interaction, is create a pharmacophore uh, query that will direct uh, the docking. So to create a simple pharmacophore, go to Compute, Pharmacophore, Query Editor, and you'll see some vectors show up uh, in, your, in your model here. Uh, what we want to do is create a pharmacophore that associates this four nitrogen here with the iron. So to do that, let's start by clicking on the iron and going back to the pharmacophore window and click on feature. And that will give you a yellow sphere. Uh, under F1, which is defining what the yellow sphere means, let's go to ML2. And ML2 is essentially telling the software that 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 is a metal. It's going to be an essential part of our pharmacophore. Let's click on the four nitrogen and it highlights in pink. 
go back to the Pharmaca 4, click on Feature again, and you should see a blue sphere show up uh, under the F2. To tell the software what this is, we'll call it ML. What that is is metal ligator. It's going to be an essential part of the Pharmaca 4, and we're going to select both of these features and click on Constraint. So what we're going to do is we're going to tell the software that both of these features have to be here and they are interacting with each other. So now let's save this as 5AJR and say OK. It says it exists. Let's go ahead and overwrite yes. And we'll close the Pharmaca 4. So let's go back to the docking window and we're going to use instead of triangle matching as a placement Pharmaca 4 as a placement but you have to tell the software which Pharmaca 4 so let's use the PH4 file that we just created click and find it and load it into the docking software so we're using a docking software uh, a Pharmaca 4 we're using a Pharmaca 4 placement uh, the refinement and scorings are the same. We're going to use the same 10 poses. We're going to give this a different name. So let's run. Docking 2 exists. We're going to overwrite that. The database viewer window opens, uh, and that will give us the results when they are uh, generated. Just click on the SVL window. It takes a little bit of time to do the Pharmaca 4 search uh, because it's placing... 5,000 confirmations uh, into a Pharmaca 4 search. So it takes a little bit of time. This will take closer to 30 seconds instead of the 15 to 20 that the original search did. But immediately you'll see that the ligand is interacting directly with the iron, which is exactly what we want. So we're going to wait uh, for that to come up. The database viewers here and as soon as this finishes which should be shortly we'll take a look at these poses and see how well they compare to the crystallized pose so let's go to file browse again let's change the colors to purple and ball and stick so we can see what's going on and you see that the highest uh, energy pose is indeed uh, analogous to the crystallized ligand, which is exactly what you would want to see. As we scroll through, we see that we're getting interactions with the iron. There's some other um, alignments that we're seeing, but the top three are essentially uh, completely overlaid, which is really exactly what we're wanting to see. So now that's it for this video. If you liked it, let me know and like this video on the website. If you have questions or comments, just post to this video and I will respond uh, to those questions. If you have issues or challenges using Mo software at your work, feel free to contact me at the email in the bottom right of the screen. Thanks for watching and goodbye.